This is a video I've been putting off for some time now. And I know that I haven't been making any content lately. And there's a reason for that. Two weeks ago, my ex-wife and the mother of my three kids passed away in the hospital in Michigan. She died from complications with pneumonia, which were made worse by her being a heavy smoker most of her life. She was unconscious. She was in a coma when she passed away, so she didn't suffer. But I wasn't able to be there. I, I just didn't have the financial means to travel up to Michigan, and I wasn't able to be there. My three kids were. My daughter was married, and she was there, and my two boys were there, and they're, they're all grown up. We, we met in high school. We didn't go to the same high school. She went to Southwestern, I went to Chadsey in Detroit. We met at Randolph Vocational Technical Center, which is a, uh, a trade school with the Detroit Public Schools. We met there, and we got together, and we were boyfriend and girlfriend until 1995 when we got married. And it was around late 90s, early 2000s when my depression really started to just tear our relationship apart. And I made the mistake of going, I, part of the reason why my depression even got really bad was what I did in 95, was going away to school in Arkansas and to a place I'm not going to mention because I don't want people going to their website or going to their, their YouTube channel if they have one and attacking them. But um, it, it, it was a emotionally traumatic experience going to that place. I was, I was emotionally abused there by the staff um, in, this, in this specific department. I'm not going to, that's as far as I'm going to take it, describing what happened. But our relationship fell apart because of my problems. And we eventually sort of patched things up. We became friends after we got divorced. And we got along a lot better as friends than husband and wife. We, we got along a lot better as boyfriend and girlfriend, really. We got along so much better than being married. And the very last time I talked to her, the very last time I talked to her, actually, she, I talk, she called me one time, and I explained to her my problems, my depression. And almost a, a I'd say a few weeks before all this started with her, she called me because she was worried for my health. Because she, she found out that one of my cousins who was younger than me is having severe mental issues. It's something, something like dementia or, or um, an early onset of Alzheimer's or, or something like that. And she was worried about my health because, you know, I've got that in my family, my, my grandmother on my father's side, his, his mom, my real grandmother, biological grandmother had it. And also my dad had heart problems and he had diabetes and, and things like that. And she was concerned for my health. And... I'm doing something about it. We're on a 
a diet here. We're eating better. We're not on the keto diet. We're on something completely different now. Um, with, we're not eating as much. Um, and it's actually working. I'm feeling a lot lighter on my feet. But that was the last time I talked to, talked to her. And then my son calls and says, um, my oldest son calls and he says that his mom's in the hospital. And he said that she was uh, doing okay. But she'd been in the hospital before because she, was, she had a, uh, a car accident and she was hurt. But uh, she was recovering from that. That was like a year or two ago that that happened. And so I thought, you know, maybe she she just had a severe cold or something or, or flu and she was going to be okay. And then, and then my daughter calls and she's crying and saying that she was, her mom was in the hospital and she was... She was in a partial coma. She was able to respond if you talk to her. Clench, clenching her hands when you talk to her and ask her to and, and everything. And so I waited for news and I eventually called and I, my daughter didn't answer back. And then she texted me and she said um, she was going. And I tried to call her again, and then she texted me and let me know she can't call right now. And then, then let me know that she was gone. And the last I talked to her, she said they were okay there. So just bothered me that I wasn't able to be there. Anyway, I... I just needed to get this out. I... It's not good to keep this bottled up. Thanks for watching.